This is the REI Corridome 1. It packs to be about 2 feet long and 6 inches across. It weighs 2 pounds and 10 ounces and it sells for $229. And the footprint that you put underneath the tent is sold separately and it's sold for $24.95. When setting up the REI Quarter Dome 1, you want to lay out the ground cover in the tent flat like this and then stake all four corners before moving on to your poles. Then you take your poles and you snap them together and the middle of the tent has a um, little plastic snap where the poles snap to the tent. Then it has hooks and you want to just attach each hook to the poles before putting the poles in the circular grommets on each corner. And there we go. We've set up the REI Quarter Dome 1. Um, once you have the four poles or the four ends of the poles in each grommet, it sets up pretty easily. Um, as you can see, it's not symmetrical, so it is a little counterintuitive on how to set it up. Um, as you can see here, the silver pole is shorter than the one orange pole that goes from one corner actually to the top middle, so it doesn't even go fully diagonally across which is kind of confusing when you set it up for the first time. Um, the silver pole here just snaps into this little ball. Um, it's like a, the end is like a ball and it snaps into this little plastic piece here. And it is going to act as the little overhang for your door when you put the rain fly on. As you can see, the quarter dome one is mainly mesh, uh, meaning you can see pretty much into the entire tent, and it also means that it is not very warm as far as keeping body heat in the tent. Even with the rain fly, I experienced a lot of body heat loss in the tent. They do claim it is a three season tent. I would say it is definitely a one and a half season tent, meaning that summer months, maybe warm spring months, and maybe warm fall months. Um, I would not take this tent in any sort of snowy conditions. Um, it did hold up pretty good in rain, but like I said, if it's below freezing, you will be cold in this tent. When setting up the rain tarp, on the quarter dome one. It's fairly easy. Uh, the straps just um, hook onto the stakes that are on all four corners. And then it's easy, you can just tighten down your rain tarp with this uh, extra strap here. And you just pull and it tightens it quite nicely. The only thing that I experienced is uh, you're supposed to line up these seams with your tent poles and it doesn't seem to want to do that very easily. Every time I've set it up, it is not, um, it doesn't, it just doesn't line up. As you can see, the far side of the tent is a little flappy in the wind here, but uh, fortunately they have included an extra stake and you can just take this um, side of the tent here and stake it down which does create a nice um, fifth stake there and make sure that no rain goes um, underneath your tent which is great. So when the rain fly is all set up it looks like this the front of the rain fly has to be staked separately from the tent and that will create your little vestibule in front of your tent door. So let's go ahead and do that now. 
which is pretty easy. You get an extra stake as well, and then you're just gonna wanna loop it through and pull it as tight as you can, just because that will create a bigger vestibule and you stake it in like so. And then it looks like this. It does look pretty big, um, all staked out like this. And we have a nice um, protective rain thing over the zipper, which is great. Um, that way no water seeps into your zipper. So let's open this and take a look. My qualm about this tent is that the vestibule is just not very big. It's about the way I have it staked now. I would say a foot and maybe four inches. It's just not a lot of space, especially for a backpacking backpack, which can be, you know, sometimes up to 40, 45 pounds, and that's just not gonna fit there. I had to put mine inside my tent, which then created no room for me and the sleeping bag. <laughs> and uh, that's really a, a big deal for me on this tent, deal breaker, sorry. Another qualm I had about this tent is that it's not staked here at the bottom, so you can't open it with one hand, or at least it's very hard. Um, you have to kind of pull, and that pulls up your tent. Um, so it's really, I mean, it's almost impossible to open it with one hand. I mean, you can, but it, you know, you risk ruining your tent. You risk uh, breaking it, ripping it especially this really fine mesh, um, you know, you don't, you don't really want to do that. So let me put this down and open it. So now we're on the inside of the REI Quarter Dome 1. This is the foot of the tent here. Lots of space. This is where I put my backpack, but I'm a fairly short person and I'm 5'5 and that made me, my head actually touch the head of the tent having the backpack in there. So. For me, that doesn't really work. There's enough room for me to sit up, which is really nice. And um, there is a little window here if you wanted to have air in the summer. Um, that's kind of nice. There are pockets for your stuff, your headlamp, anything you want out of your backpack. And then there is, it is a one person tent, so it basically looks like this. Um, you do have some room here if you wanted to put some stuff. It's fairly roomy, I would say, for one person, but just not roomy enough for that huge backpack to go in here. And like I said, that is the vestibule there. That's just going to fit my hiking boots on a rainy day. That's not going to fit my backpack in any way. Anyway, that concludes our review of the REI Quarter Dome 1 tent. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more reviews and trail experiences on this channel. Okay, bye!